if Jesus is in fact the Christ spoken of in the Bible then he did accomplish what God sent him to accomplish and so if Jesus was to free Israel from the subjugation and captivity of the Roman government he would have done so however his purpose was not to save the flesh his purpose was to bring a spiritual gift of salvation whereby he freed Israel from the curse of death and as a consequence from the curse of the law which concern only the flesh So if you say that you believe in Jesus and that, and that Jesus was in fact the prophesied Messiah spoken of by the prophets, the law and the Psalms, then you also have to accept and agree that the man God sent as his Christ to perform a work pursuant to the will of God then you have to accept the fact that Jesus actually performed the work that he was sent to do and that work obviously was to provide a spiritual promise whereby men could be born again in the spirit and resurrected after death. So now, we have some black Hebrew Israelites that say they believe in Jesus, but the work Jesus performed was not acceptable to them because Jesus did not rescue the nation of Israel from the subjugation and captivity of the Roman government. So now they're saying that their will supersedes the will of God because what Jesus did is, is did not satisfy their own personal desires. But see, that's hypocritical. And, and double talking because if you agree that Jesus was the Christ you must agree that what he did when he was here on earth was according to the will of God and that will of God was not apparently for Jesus to come as some mighty man of war to rescue Israel from the Roman government. Otherwise, he would have done so because the Roman government and no government, even Pharaoh, is not greater than the power of God. It was God's will for Moses to bring the nation of Israel out of Egypt. The physical nation of Israel was saved and rescued and redeemed from the slavery of the Egyptian Pharaoh. Moses was sent to save the nation of Israel from their subjugation by the Egyptian government. And so we see that the will of God was for Pharaoh, I mean for Moses to go and take his people out of Egypt. And that will of God was in fact uh, succeeded, 
I mean, uh, fulfilled. Moses was not sent to bring a spiritual gift of salvation. He was sent to save Israel, physical Israel, from the subjugation of the Roman government. But that was not the will and plan of God when he sent Jesus. It was something totally different. Because if it was the will of God to save physical Israel from the subjugation of the Roman government, they would have been saved from the Roman government just like the nation of Israel was saved from the Egyptian government. So, if you don't believe that the man born from Mary and Joseph called Jesus is the Christ, go ahead and say so. But don't say that you believe he is the Christ and then reject the work he did.